Let me go up there. In the morning, in the parking lot of the visitor center, not much to see. So beautiful. It's just so epic out here. Can't stop shooting Taking videos of stuff that people will probably never watch. Which it does look like it sucks though. And it looks sketch. It's not terribly exposed. You have that goal for you. Well, I mean. Well, I think if you go to the left side, it's not terribly exposed. Which is. Here we are. Morning of day two. Our beautiful tent. Here's our route going up. We are. Going to kind of pick our way up through to that little tower and probably up the ridge there and then follow it around to there somewhere. Here we are scrambling up, getting close to Patterson Spur. Looks like it's kind of that part up there leading up to the ridge. Got to a pretty cruxy move. It's either fifth class or a grade. Like five, six, yeah. five, seven maybe that we just don't feel comfortable with. Yeah, I'll be right our there. Our packs. Too. So we're going to help each other up and then all our packs up for the road. Straight up the spur. So we set it not. That draw, Jeremy setting it up a pretty freaking sketch part. I'm gonna set an anchor up top. At this point, if Jared took a whipper, the bad news. <laughs> yeah, good work, Jer. Jeremy up there is pulling Al up. We just didn't feel comfortable cruising this. Al's going down to. <coughs> Get the other backpack. We'll lay down from about 70 meters up. Ran the full length of the rope. And climbing stuff like that. Probably about 45 or steeper. As you can see it's just super wet and it's shaly. Get your toes in, but you can't trust them. Nice. Here and Alan on the knife alley edge of Tower One, I believe. Over there is the summit. You can see the cane face. Here's where we just came up. Where there's resplendent mountain. There's a mousetrap glacier.
Morning of day three, found a beautiful campsite. Didn't quite get to the bottom of Cane Face, but gonna take an extra day, take the time, see what happens. Beautiful spot, got a great view of our route and what we're gonna try to do. Alan's setting the V-thread, two 22 Woo. centimeter ice screws, and some accessory cord, tying it with a fisherman. Yep. And then that's what we're belaying down on. Here we are, early morning, a little bit before six of our attempted summit day. Red sky in the morning, sailor's warning. Cane face receives morning light, so perhaps the cloud cover will work in our favor, keep the ice from melting, and uh, keep it strong while we cruise up. Here I am leading the first pitch. Uh, seems like really good ice, set two ice screws so far. Maybe about a quarter to a third of the way up the cane face. Jarek Oman just over the shrund. Al up there on lead. Here we are maybe, uh, I don't even know, 300 feet up, kind of hard to tell. Uh, it's going really well. Ice is just super solid. Um, leading these to run out of screws. We have James down there, Jeremy at the bottom. They're just kind of taking a break, taking a little breather here. It's getting real cloudy up here. Hoping, still hoping for a pretty good day, but we'll see what happens. Good little anchor system here. We're taking a break. That's the angle, holding my camera straight. James, Jeremy way down there. Woo! Atta boy! Yeah! Here we are in the summit ridge line. Oh, a little sketch, but just trying not to stay too close to the edge of the cornices and it's pretty good. There she blows, boys. actually getting a little better but still pretty bad um, made it to the summit just trying to work our way down safely now we are climbing backwards the whole way down and can't really see anything James is picking the line but now we can't see the ridge down there and a little shot of that so this is an idea of where we are wrapping down the cane face I'm on a screw down climbed a bunch of that and we got maybe 800 feet yet to wrap of pure ice we are it's called uh learning how to do v threads on the fly it's kind yeah. of a high risk high reward but uh we're always backing stuff up with ice screws and really playing it safe really strong ice here so it looks good here's james sending it down so Here's our wrapping situation. Headed down the cane face. This is a screw for a safety screw in case the V-thread uh, breaks, in case the ice breaks. But I've been wrapping down just on the V-thread because I don't want to leave a screw. And sometimes you just gotta risk it. So taking out the screw.
Well, we've done like five rats to jot down this face through rock, snow, ice, and now just going to down climb that last little bit down to the glacier. Here we are coming down the Robson Glacier. There's a ton of crevasses, but it's really cold. Bridges seem sturdy. Haven't really had any sketchy moments, so. Hiking out, maybe a mile and a half, two miles in Berg Lake. Walking down the glacier, almost at Berg Lake. So, hiking back to our bikes after a successful summit. There's the mountain, pretty incredible. In a cloud all day today. And now we'll get a nice view of it.